All right, welcome guys. Welcome to a brand new day of Road to Teach You Worlds 2018. We should have everything ready. It should say uh, trading card game online now instead of um, instead of um, 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 Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green. That will be tomorrow. Um, thank you for letting me know, but it should say Pokemon Trading Card Game Online now. Um, let's hope that arm press is fixed indeed because we are using Zoropod today. Uh, Lonely Miss, hello. Thank you so much for being here. Velocity, table mount time indeed. Spicy Chicken, Rafa, thank you guys so much for being here as well as AJ Remo. So, we're gonna start off with a good old fashioned Zoropod. Um, Call this about 210 HP, it's attack first impression, deals 30 damage, plus 90 if Call this about was on the bench, and Fear the V, thank you so much for being here. Um, if Call this about was on the bench, you deal an extra 90 damage, so 1 energy, 120, really really nice, uh, because we do have Guzmas and Acerolas to reset the effect. Armor Press, a pretty good attack as well, 100 damage, and... <laughs> We have Diego, the ghost, the ghost of Goldpins past as well. Um, <laughs> um, we have Armor Press dealing 100 damage and reducing by 20 the damage that um, Colisopod receives during the next turn. And then we have Crossing Kochi X which deals 150 damage and um, you switch Colisopod back to the bench. Fire Weakness, Triple Retreat Cost, so very heavy, weak, uh, very heavy Retreat Cost. Um, although we are going to be playing um, Guzmas and Acerolas and stuff in order to mitigate that. And um, the Fire Weakness is irrelevant because... Um, <laughs> fire Weakness is irrelevant because Fire Decks are not very good now. And Godmew, thank you so much for the follow. Now, hello Manchas, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Uh, we have 4 4 Zorak GX, 210 HP, Ability Trade, we discard a card, draw 2 more, Righteous Beating, deals. 20 damage per um, Pokemon in play you have, meaning up to 120 and 150 with a choice band. And then Trickster GX copies an attack from the side of the field, but we do not have Darkness Energy, so it's actually not relevant. Fighting Weakness, very bad to have at this point in time, um, but there's nothing we can do about that. Um, we have one Tapu Gogo. -Go. For support and flying flip, the free tree is very nice. Flying flip sets numbers, sets sets up good numbers for Golisbet and Zorg. We have Mew as well and Mewtwo as psychic type counters for um, Buzzle and Alolan Executor. I mean, Alolan Executor is potentially better. Yes. Um, however, however, um, the requirement like it requires so much extra space in the deck that that puts me off slightly from. From using it. Um, so, uh, triple double LA for setup, then supporters wise we have four Guzma, three Bridget, three and two Cynthia, two Acerola and a single Mallow, so all consistency um, pretty much. Um, no Sycamore this time around, I do like one Sycamore in Zorak decks but I'm choosing not to because every resource is very valuable here, um, so we want to avoid discarding excess resources other than Ultra Ball um, and trade of course. Then we have 4 Ultra Ball and 4 Puzzle of Time, standard choices in Zorg, Triple Field Blower to combat Garb and, other, and, and win the Parallel CD Wars, um, Double Parallel CD, Double Enhanced Hammer for Disruption, One Evil Soda to um, just find those Zorgs a little bit earlier, it's like playing a 5th Zorg or a 3rd Golisopod, um, Double Choice Band and then a single Floatstone. Finally we have 4 DCs and 3 Grass Energy, so let's jump into a ladder and like I said, um, this is gonna be... Um, a more chill day. Um, we're gonna start off with Zoropod, but then we're gonna have a Metal Beast Box deck, we're gonna have a Metagrossal Galio deck, and then we're gonna have a Lapras deck as well to play today. So we'll see how it goes. I will be taking notes of. Um, oh. I will be taking notes of the games that I end up playing. And. There we go. The bits are viewable, which is good. The thing is just a little bit shifted, so it feels like every time I have to change that. Um, okay, so we would like to go first. So on the right, we need a little bit more space, and then on the left, we need a little bit less. There we go. That should settle it. Uh, 75 there we go 
Okay, so we start Coco, which is very nice. Uh, I don't want to bench any of the Lele's because I just want to bridge it here. Cashman, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for the ball the, for the follow. We're up against Zoro Rock. Okay. Um, how good is Parallel City against Buzz? A well time Parallel City is actually pretty good against Buzzle because you force them into a situation where um, they have maybe to discard um, a baby Buzz. They need to discard. They have to choose between discarding uh, Diancy or Artillery. Um, a lot of those things definitely come into play. So I'm going to go ahead and bridge it here. Now the DC is interesting because my opponent could easily, very very easily, try and target down one of my Zeruas. Now Mewtwo is also pretty useful, but I do want to set up a Wimput. One Wimput is pretty good, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set up a third Zerua here because my opponent could easily start um, Buzzwell, Energy, Kuzma, knock out a Zerua, and we need the Zeruas in order to set up. Um, Noe, hello, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here on the Pokemon Evolutionaries. Thanks so much for the host. Now, um, I think I'm gonna keep the DC in my hand though. I do think I'm gonna keep the DC because if I attach it to Azurua, then it becomes a premium target and we don't want that to happen. Um, so yeah, it's it's very good against Buzz. A well-timed one is very good. Um, but if Buzz is playing against Zorark, then it can definitely play around the knowledge that most Zorark decks are playing too parallel CDs right now. Um, we're gonna see a Bridget from my opponent as well, so we're gonna see a similar-ish setup. Um, I would not be surprised to see to see him get another Rockruff. Okay, but he chooses not to, so he might have a Floatstone already to protect this Rockruff. Otherwise, like, as long as we can chase... Ooh. As long as we can chase the Rockruffs or we can keep energy off the board, we should be good here. Um, as long as we can chase energy from the board, we should be good. Um, so we're gonna take this knockout and then we do have... He already discarded a basic energy, which is pretty important because we do have two enhanced hammers. So those are gonna be key to keeping Lycanroc in check. Um, because if the game if the game comes down if my opponent doesn't have Lycan Rock, then I have um, more Acerola than he does, and therefore I should win the two hit KO war. And uh, on on his side of the field, if he conserves, um, if he gets a Lycan Rock to stick, then he gets one shots versus my two shots. So I would be on the losing end of that trade. So I'm gonna keep the field lore here because I might get parallel this turn. Wouldn't be the end of the world, but um, I would want to immediately remove it. A parallel would actually be useful for us. Um, so parallel seed is a must in every meta deck now. Not a must, but um, it's a very good option to have in most meta decks. Um, today we're playing Zoropod, we're playing Metagross Old Galio, and there's a parallel. We're playing Zoropod, Metagross Old Galio. Lapras and a Naganadel Metal Beast Box. Those are the decks for, for the day. Um, is this Golisopod with Lurantis promo? No. Uh, we don't have Lurantis promo. I feel like the way you deal with baby bosses and stuff is Psychic type, but uh, it could be worth it to include. It could be worth it to include. Like a 1-1 one, one line could be worth it for sure. Um, so there's merit to that. Um, Plus raw. Um, yeah, Metagross. Metagross feels decent actually, and I like I like that you have um, the Ankler Pokemon. What's the name of the Ankler Pokemon? I forgot. Um, what's the name of that? It's. I forgot, but the one that adds 10 damage to basics, not to basics, to metal Pokemon. Okay, so... Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Ruben. I'm so sorry that happened. Delmice, yeah, Delmice. Hello, Grand Kali. Wow, I'm so sorry, Ruben. 
Did you lose like a full deck or something? Wow, I'm so sorry that happened. Okay, so my opponent even found his one enhanced hammer. He plays baby buzz. So let's start off by trading. I might actually need Mew to deal with that baby buzz. So I'll trade away the end for now. Um, then I shall trade. I really wish I could find a field door here to parallel my opponent. Um, I mean, parallel, being parallel is not the worst because it, it makes Lycanroc less scary for sure. And then I feel like I trade away Cynthia here. I mean, I'm gonna go after the Rockruff 100%, I feel. Um, okay. Or is that my play? Or do I just go after the Baby Buzz? Or do I go after the Zorg? I'm actually not sure. If I KO the Rockruff, uh, my opponent. I mean, sure, he would have a knockout on Azorg, but that's not the end of the world. And with a DC, I could GX the puzzle, or I could use Mew as well. So we'll see. Um, hello, <laughs> hello, Zarek. Thanks so much for being here, uh, Mr. Rayleigh. Thanks so much for being here as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try out Metal Beast Box. I feel like Naganadel should be enough to deal with uh, the puzzles and then you have Dustmane to deal with Lycanroc. So we'll see how that works. We'll see if that works. I mean, we'll see how and if that works. Okay, so Baby Buzzle and my opponent's gonna Sycamore, so he will be dealing X amount of damage to my Golisopod. Um but not enough to where I'm really worried. And I don't mind using up my GX attack on this puzzle, honestly. Uh, Fear the V, I'm using a demo account, as you can see uh, here on the bottom screen. I'm using a demo account, so I actually can't accept trade offers, um, but thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, wow, is he going to pay you back or something? Rafa because that's like that's very sad. That's a very sad situation. I'm so sorry that happened to you Okay, gonna trade away I'm gonna GX this guy I feel so like I don't mind playing the 2 k KO war against my opponent. I do find an Acerola. That's nice I also find the field blower to counter that So we'll trade away the Zerua and then I can probably trade away one win, but Right? There's not even a rock rough on the field. So I'm gonna do this. Get rid of his TCE. And then I'm gonna field blower these two. No reason not to field blower this, even though I know I'm going to knock out. And then, even with parallel, uh, my GX does knock out the puzzle, which is good enough. Um, despite the damage reduction. I'm gonna DC this guy and then I wish I could end here I actually wish I could end but this is still fine uh, yeah I'm just gonna crossing cut and I will probably end up going to this guy now to this guy yep so we got a knockout we're up three prizes to none um, my opponent does have some targets on the bench, but that's completely fine because at this point we should be able to chase down any rock roughs he benches with double puzzles and Kuzmas. And then after that, it becomes my two Acerolas plus puzzles against his one Acerola plus puzzles at best. So we should be good here. I think we should be good. Um. Uh, shouldn't I field blower parallel before other plays to deny my opponent information? Yeah, probably. Um, my plays, I don't feel like he had any choice. Like, you can't do that when it's going to be like a tricky situation. But his play was always to just discard the Lele. So it wasn't too relevant at this point. But yes, you should always uh, field blower parallel before doing anything else to not give your opponent more information than you need to. Um, Kevin C. Mañana habrá Pokédex. 
Y Nuzlocke. Um, hello, Josh. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, Velocity. It's funny how people assume Naganadel needs a full bench to KO Buzz. Um, yeah, no. Uh, Choice Band is pretty good. Choice Band is pretty good to do that. Um, okay. So my opponent decides to target the Goldisa, but I am completely okay with that. Um, my opponent has such a big hand right now. Um, I have one end left. Okay, let's promote this orc. Like, I want this guy on the bench because anytime he Guzmas, then I can Guzma him back. And there's the Lele. So... If I double puzzle now, we would actually be on even footing. So I'll do this first. No reason not to. And then... I really don't want to double puzzle for a TCE though. So I'm gonna trade first. But all the cards in my hand are actually pretty good. I think I can trade the grass though. Yeah, the grass feels tradable. Uh, ooh, Ruben, you sent some bits, but they didn't show. Let me... Let me... I have no idea why that was. Yeah, Streamlabs doesn't seem to be updating for some reason. Okay. Uh, I really want a DC here. Yeah, we, I, the bits didn't show up. I see that the bits increased, but thank you so much. Um, hello, Lonely. Thanks so much for being here. And then... Come on, I want a DC. I don't want a double puzzle for a DC. No. <laughs> Said I didn't want to. Okay, I guess I'll have to. So I'll double puzzle for two DCs then. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Ray Lee, thank you so much for subscribing. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you so, so much. And a tier two as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, so choice man. <laughs> thank you guys. I do feel confident with the deck. It's actually pretty strong. Um, I do think it's a pretty strong deck. And there's the end. We did have two DCs, we just couldn't find them. So now we got two of them back so that we never whiff a DC. Uh, should I play a floatstone? Probably, yeah. And I'm gonna end to decrease my opponent's chances of attacking me next turn by as much as I can, and also of him finding the Acerola. He's down to two TTs as well, so that's pretty important. And let's ride his beating. What am I playing? I'm playing Zorobod. So, Mr. Rayleigh, thank you so much for subscribing. That's very, very kind of you. And a tier two sub as well. Um, I should play this deck at upcoming regionals. Maybe, maybe it's a decent choice. Um, Big Daddy's Love, thanks so much for the follow. And I'm sorry, Ruben, I have no idea why the bits didn't show up. They did show up on chat and they didn't show up on my notifications either. They might have just not um, gone through yet. I don't know. I generally don't know. What's a tier 2 sub? Okay, when you subscribe, um, there are different options. Uh, there's the tier 1, which costs, I believe, $5. There's uh, tier 2, which I believe costs $10. And there's tier 3, which I believe costs like $25. Um, it's like choosing to support with a different amount, but the higher the tier, the more... like. Tier 1 uh, is a 50-50 split between me and Twitch. Um, tier 2 is um, like a 60-40 split. So out of the 5 bucks in Tier 1, I get 250 and Twitch keeps 250. Uh, in Tier 2, I... Okay, let's trade. I need a... I want a Kuzma. In Tier 2, um, I get six bucks and twitch keeps four and in tier three uh, it's 70 30 so 70 percent of 25 is something like 18 16 15 something like that um so basically i just i keep more of the percentage um okay interesting hand um <laughs> see we we did get a new emoji 
They just announced the NA regional schedule? Oh, wow, really? Okay, let me finish trading and I'll get to that. Uh, what do I even trade? I think they throw a If I can pick up the Rockruff... Okay, and I will be able to pick up the Rockruff. Um, I'm now at even prices, which is great. I don't want to keep trading though, I don't want to deck myself out. And then I will first impression here. So we're one Kuzma away from winning the game, so my opponent 100% needs Acerola or Max Potion if he does play it. Um, and he has no Tapu Lele's to left. He, there's one in the discard and two in play. So he has no Tapu Lele's left to find that Acerola. If he finds Acerola, then the game just drags on for longer. But if he finds Acerola, then my uh, Zoarks also survive, which is great. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Rayleigh, once again for choosing to subscribe in the tier 2 um, yeah like I don't if he this is the thing whenever he Guzmas he also doesn't Acerola so the damage here sticks um, and by playing N plus the like field blow I mean plus the enhanced hammer and stuff it makes it much harder for him to be able to attack and for him to be able to find the right cards because he had a, a, a hand of 10 cards and there's a victory after he played N. like we had triple trade on a 10 card deck so finding the one kuzma would not have been a problem so let me this was zorg colisabud versus zorg lycanroc and mancha thank you so much for the bits thank you so so much for the bits this is streaming in english um we're not up against anyone and then just give me one second to i should i really should do this before <laughs> i really should be doing this before the streams instead of during but uh there is so much that's going on that i tend to forget so we'll probably play three games with zoropod so let me find a game and then i'll get back to chat because i know i've missed a lot of messages and we're on a seven win streak so that's pretty cool so um the na regional schedule is out that's pretty cool i need to check that out after the stream i definitely need to check that out after the stream um and then one yeah uh, um, Maui, sí, lo siento, pero es que los videos en español no son buen negocio. <laughs> um, ¿Qué cambios tiene este deck? No tiene casi ningún cambio. Uh, Rafa, Ruben, thank you so much for the bits. Very, very kind of you. There you go. Now it worked. Thank you so, so much. Um, I did not want to play. Um, I did not want to take down the Zoark because I only had one Colisopod in play. So this is what could have happened. Um, if I take down the Zorg that's damaged, and then my opponent goes promote Rockruff, attach energy, multi switch the DCE, um, evolve Lycanroc, GX my GX my Golisabud, then I have no response to that because my Golisabud would be gone. So that's why I chose to go after the Rockruff. Like you know you're gonna beat Zorg in a two versus two in an Acerola war. So as long as you remove the Rockruffs, that's completely completely fine. Um, si sí, lo explico en español es que si me, si me hablan en español con todo gusto les contesto en español pero es que tengo que pagar la renta y los videos en español no pagan la renta ni cerca ok, so we don't have the greatest start esa es la única razón me encantaría poder hacer más contenido en español pero es que no no rinde um, yeah, so the multi-switch play is the reason why I didn't. Um, multi-switch is the reason why I didn't um, do the, the go after the Zorg. Okay, so interesting-ish hand. <laughs> Not the greatest. Uh, we won't be able to retreat next turn. And Manchas, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the extra bits. Very, very kind of you. Thank you guys so much, as always. Um... So yeah, that was my reasoning, bird boy. Um, also, if I knock out the, the Zorg, even if that doesn't happen, if I knock out the Zorg and he evolves the Rockruff, um, I still need to find Kuzma, right? But now the only way I can win is with Golisopod on that guy or two-shotting something else. 
but um, by picking off the rock rough I'm back to even prizes and therefore I only need to take down one more GX um, I don't know it's I feel like the multi switch the multi switch was a big deal for me um, ball beat is going to be better to be the better goal is but I have no idea what ball beat does <laughs> No idea what Volvi does. Um, ¿Crees que en algún momento regrese Espion con alguna variante? Eh, no creo. Hay muchos mejores atacantes psíquicos, en mi opinión. Ok, we're up against Zorak uh, Executor. So, all the Zorak mirror matches. So, Zorak, uh, Lowland Eggs. So, I guess we're in a battle of the grass types. To see which is a better partner for um, for Zorg. Now, I could possibly have knockout on this guy. And oh no, my parallel seed is actually hurting me. Whoops. <laughs> well, no, never mind. Never mind. Okay, <laughs> that DC is gonna get punished. That DC is a hundred percent gonna get punished here so pretty unlucky for my opponent to start with a Mew but the DC there feels not ideal for sure definitely feels not ideal so we'll bench the others overall for sure um I'm not gonna no I will I'll evolve this Kalissa bud and then I will retreat and punish that DC with Mewtwo's psychic um Buzz also needs three Ultra needs to the three Malamar set up. Um, three energy and a choice plus your GX is a lot for a one shot. Um, what are we talking about? Okay, we take two prizes here, which is insane. Um, yeah, so I'm sure there will be Malamar decks that. Um, that um, do well. I'm sure there will be Malamar decks that will be able to adapt to Baby Puzzle. Or I think they will. So we see a Raw Cynthia, there's an Executor which, which is only hitting for 40 damage so it's not too great. Um, and then... Santa Clara. Interesting. Uh, 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 um. Okay. Interesting that they released these in June instead of July, like last year. Uh, Zoropod is losing favor because it cannot one shot easily. Um, yes, I think that's true. Um, I think there's merit to the 1 1 Lorantis line uh, to deal with the baby buzz and also to deal that extra 20 um, with the GX to one shot um, things like uh, Buzzle GX or Ultra Necrozma. Um, but yeah, it's definitely losing favor, as you guys have said. Um, okay, Alolan Executor, very annoying to deal with. I'm gonna trade away the Bridget, but the, the chip damage here, the 40 damage is really really good like really really good gonna go ahead and back gonna go ahead and bridge it for a zerua here and then i don't want to commit a dc anywhere so i'm just gonna psychic the executor and then next turn i can potentially pick up the mewtwo or if it gets knocked out then zoar just finishes off the executor and then it's a uh, uh, an acerola war where i'm already ahead in prices so and my opponent has already used up one acerola right there um, very nice. All the regionals from Europe as well have dates. Really? Okay, so we start off in mid September in Philadelphia. Then we go to Memphis in October, uh, two weeks or three weeks later, actually. Um, then we have Portland, three weeks or two weeks later. So there's a there there are gaps in between those. That's pretty nice. 
Um, ok. Eh, ¿Ves alguna versión entre Garbodor Zorak con Executor? No. Garbodor Zorak y Executor sería demasiado. Eh, mi carta favorita en estándar definitivamente es Baby Puzzle. And Mustafar, thanks so much for the follow. Ok. I won't be needing Mew, for sure. Um, <laughs> I understand what you're saying, um, Oceans. It's definitely very sad to be one shot like that. Um, what do I even trade here? The gold is a pun? Everything else feels potentially useful. Or the mallow. No, I'll trade the gold is a pun. My gold is pun will never be one shot here. Never ever. So I can Acer Ola cycle the gold is a pun. And then here it's an easy trade of the Ultra Ball. Um, oh, never mind. I needed that Ultra Ball. <laughs> I need a double troll for another basic. Now I'm gonna have to double puzzle for a basic. That's actually very silly. Um, PGH, thanks so much for the host. Very kind of you. Oh gosh, that that discard was actually very silly. I should have kept the ultra ball. <laughs> Oops. So I'll get back the Mewtwo. It's a non GX, and then I'll get back a Kuzma. That's potentially useful. Or the DC. Nah, the Kuzma feels better. Yeah. So this was a silly mistake on my part, to be honest, um, but it's okay, just Riot is beating here. Um, um, are you Cuckoo, whosoever, what language, what? Uh, hola Judas, <laughs> muchas gracias, muchas gracias por, por el mensaje, Un placer conocerte en Cancún. Eh, espero que tengamos más eventos por allá la siguiente temporada. Um, Dallas again at the airport, that's awesome. Anaheim, that's also pretty fun. Um, Roanoke, there's two standards. Oh, there's a lot of expanded though. Dallas is expanded again. They're once again expanded, half and half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh. 7 expanded. I might actually skip expanded next season. Oh, but Hartford. I loved Hartford. I want to go back to Hartford to eat some mac and cheese. <laughs> That's why I want to go back to Hartford. 7-7 seven, seven split. Yep. 7-7 seven, seven split. I might actually not go to everything next year. Like, I'll go to some expanded if it's accessible, like Dallas. Dallas is stupidly cheap for me. Um... I can definitely try Philadelphia, I can definitely do Memphis. Um, probably won't do Oregon. Can definitely, well, I could try Virginia. And then I would do that. Ugh, Anaheim is so close too. Okay, my opponent whiffed here. My opponent actually whiffed. And <laughs> thank you so much, Benji, for the host. Um, okay. So I need a DCE or a grass. So I'll trade away the Lele. My opponent is struggling to find DCEs though. And thank you so much for the follow as well. I feel like I, I should target down the Execute at this point. There's the grass. Um, I should target down the Execute because like I, I will always win the price trade. I mean the race against GXs. Here with my Cerolas. Um Well, not always, I guess, but um, I'm so far ahead at this point that I'd rather deal GXs versus GXs than GXs versus non GXs. Um, you're a bit bummed that they haven't done a San Diego regional in a long time. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's Anaheim is still so cool, I guess. Um, Entei GX with Zark, Raikou GX, Carpoder. I have no idea what those cards do. Well, I do know Entei, but <laughs> I have no idea what Raikou GX does. Um, UCF fan, <laughs> thanks so much for being here. Um, you, you're still alive in the. Um, you're still alive in the. In the in the in the, um, in the Nuzlocke. and wasn't FL a long time ago? Yeah, it was. Um, we're still doing Forbidden Light decks, though. <laughs> like, I'm running out of original names to use on the streams. Um, 
yeah, I don't know why they insist doing half and half with expanded. So I might do I, I might do Anaheim and Dallas expanded though. I might skip Roanoke and then do Anaheim and Dallas expanded. And I'll definitely do Collinsville in February. Um, I won't be doing Toronto. I won't be doing Toronto. It's too far away and it's expanded. I won't be doing Greensboro and then I would definitely do Denver. I would definitely do Denver. Um, won't be doing Daytona. Might consider Hartford just because I really want that mac and cheese. <laughs> and then definitely Santa Clara and Madison again. Okay, and then in Europe, oh, there's only two listed in Europe. Okay. Uh, oh, the Denver, huh? The Denver regional is TCG only. That's really interesting. Oh, and European special events schedule. There are special events already. Okay, so we get the Acerola, which is nice. Uh, my opponent did play down the Cartana, which can now be our target. Cartana can actually now be our target for the last two prizes or Lele. So we can use either of those with Golisa, but. So we're not even forced to attack this turn. Um, <laughs> thank you, Riven. Um, I think I can trade the grass. Um, is there a calculator somewhere that tells me how well I need to do to get an invite? Um, I mean, we don't know the invite threshold for next season, right? We don't. Um, okay, I feel like I just heal here. No, not attacking. Well, I can't attack. I just cannot attack this turn. So I'm gonna have to be patient. Uh, I'm gonna get another triple trade turn next. I uh, uh, probably should have finished the Coco instead. I'm gonna get a triple trade turn next turn. So hopefully that finds us DC Choice Band to knock out either Kartana or Lele with our GX. Um, when is Dallas? Dallas is, Dallas, Dallas is, um, in January, in January 2019, uh, January 19 and 20, 2019. Okay, so my opponent side to Guzma, which is fair. Um, the game's getting a little bit more complicated. And then there's a special event in Paris. Well, no, not in Paris, sorry, in Lille. And there's another one in Cannes. Interesting. I hope if the special, if the, if the international is near that special event, I might try to go to both. Okay, so let's trade the blower. Uh, hello, Jho. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, Malo doesn't help me quite yet. This should 100% be a, a Coco though. That was a mistake. There's a DCE, and now, yeah, we can't get the knockout this turn. And then Malo doesn't really help me that much, or does it? Uh, it probably does, actually. I mean, I could just armor press here. Does my opponent have... He's played two puzzles, and he's played... Wait, no Acerola? I thought he already played one Acerola. Oh, maybe he already picked it up. Maybe I just hunt down the Zeruas. He hasn't evolved them yet. Maybe that's all I do. I'm just gonna go ahead and hunt down the Zeruas. That seems okay. And... Yumasamun, thanks so much for the follow. I haven't finished trading. So I should have done that before. <laughs> should have done that before choice band okay so we're getting closer ish right we're just gonna take a price card here and then my opponent needs to 100 percent evolve that to otherwise we win and then if he doesn't we might still win we'll see um uh So whoever asked the, the invite question, I mean, if it's going to be the same next year, you have to get like 100, 100 CP per, per quarter. That's your goal. Um, 
There's a good Deoxys that counters boss like Mewtwo in the next set. Okay. Uh, there is a Denver's regional next season. Hello, J-O. Thanks so much for being here. I'm doing well. Thank you. How about yourself? Um, the regional, the next season's regionals. Can someone put the link on the on the chat? Can someone put the link on the chat? Uh, okay, so my opponent did manage to evolve. Ugh. So we're just getting delayed and delayed and delayed. Um, three Guzmans used up. So, thank you so much, uh, Mark. And I, I was just checking it out. I just have it open here. Um, okay, there's one puzzle piece. So let me trade this. And then I definitely want to do that. And then let me trade one choice band. That's fine. And then let me trade this guy. And okay, so there's a grass. There's a grass, so I'm gonna hit here with my Zorg. I'm gonna put two cards back. I'm gonna put back Colisabud. And I'm gonna put back a DCE. So I'm gonna evolve this guy. I'm gonna attach energy. I'm gonna bench the Coco, and that's all I'm gonna do. Or do I just Cynthia? No, I have the cards I need to win right here. I'll burn the Mallow. I'll definitely burn the Mallow. Because um, it's a card I don't need anymore. And then I'll just Riot she's beating. So if my opponent doesn't end me, I win next turn. He's played two ends, so there's a chance he ends me. Uh, but if he ends, then all I need is Guzma to knock out this Zorg. If he doesn't end, then we win. Um, hola Kaiser, muchas gracias por estar por aquí. Um, so yeah, very nice to have the the schedule so soon. I'll have to I'll have to make plans. I definitely won't be going to every regional next season though i'll be going it feels it seems like i'll be going to most i definitely won't be going to all of them uh what did my opponent just do he used uh lele for acerola that's fine if he acerolas we win he acerolas we win uh would celestial storm be legal for the first regional in philadelphia yes dg sonic uh celestial storm will be legal for worlds and worlds happens before the start of the next season so um, Denver is TCG only, yep. Denver is TCG only. Uh, Kevin, ¿qué otros decks hoy es Lapras, um, Solgaleo Metagross y Nagana del eh, con Pokémon Metal? So yeah, we're just waiting for my opponent to finish his turn so that we can win. Um... Okay, and then my opponent chooses to promote the Gartana, interestingly enough, so now we don't even need to Guzma, but I'll just play the Guzma because why not? And we will send the well played back and we will cross and cut GX for the game. Um, does Celestial Storm come out in August? Yes, it comes out in August. Oh, I have to pick something. Okay, so another win for this deck. Um, this deck looking pretty solid. So we're gonna play one more game with this deck, guys. Unless you guys want to see the next one. Um, yeah, let's let's move on. I've been doing videos super super long, so let's move on. So guys, tell me in chat. Th this will be all for Zorak Elizabeth. So if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And uh, Mr. Ray Lee, thank you so much for the bits. Very very kind of you. Thank you so much subscribing and um, sending bits. Thank you so much. Okay, so uh, please vote in the chat now, guys. Which deck do you want to see? Metagrossol Galio, Metal Beast Box, or Lapras? Please vote in the chat. I will be right back whilst you guys are voting. So don't go anywhere. I will be right back, okay? But please, please vote. Put, it, put in your votes on chat and I'll be right back.